ever feel like the universe is nudging you awake? Like you're shedding layers and seeing the world with fresh eyes? That, my friends, might be a spiritual awakening. It's exciting, confusing, and potentially bumpy. Today, we're delving into eight critical mistakes to avoid while navigating this transformative journey. Don't let burnout, comparison, or false gurus dim your inner light. Buckle up, truth seekers, because we're shedding misconceptions and embracing authentic awakening. Let's dive in. But why are these eight mistakes crucial to avoid? Imagine your awakening like a delicate butterfly emerging from its cocoon. Each misstep could tear those fragile wings, delaying your flight or even crippling it. These mistakes aren't about shame, but awareness. They could stem from excitement, overwhelm, or even societal pressures. But by recognizing and sidestepping them, you'll avoid unnecessary pain and accelerate your true transformation. Think of it as a roadmap, removing detours and potholes to ensure your journey unfolds organically, beautifully, and with the power you truly hold within. Let's now discuss these eight mistakes one by one. Mistake number one, bottling up your emotions. Think of your awakening as a dam breaking open, releasing a torrent of feelings. Ignoring them is like trying to hold back the flood with your bare hands. Suppressed emotions fester, leading to anxiety, burnout, and even physical ailments. The truth is, your emotions are messengers, guiding you on your spiritual path. Joy points towards your passions, anger highlights boundaries needing protection, and sadness often precedes profound healing. So, embrace the feels. Journal, meditate, talk to a trusted friend. Be vulnerable, for authenticity fosters deeper connections and accelerates your growth. Remember, a river that flows freely carves its own powerful path. Don't be afraid to let your emotional current guide you. Next up, mistake number two, clinging to the familiar. Change, my friends, is a spiritual constant. Just like a caterpillar wouldn't stay cooped up in its cocoon forever, resisting transformation stunts your growth. Think of it this way. New experiences, challenges, and perspectives stretch your spiritual muscles, allowing you to evolve and reach your full potential. Embracing change doesn't mean abandoning your values, but rather opening yourself to growth. Take baby steps. Try a new meditation technique. Explore a different philosophy. Step outside your comfort zone. Release the reins. Trust the universe. And witness the magic that unfolds when you dance with change. The world is your oyster, waiting to be explored with an open mind and a grateful heart. Now let's talk about ignoring that pesky inner voice. Mistake number three, silencing your intuition. This tiny whisper within holds profound wisdom, guiding you towards alignment and fulfillment. But neglect it, and you risk veering off track, making choices that drain your energy and leave you feeling lost. Imagine intuition as your personal GPS, constantly recalculating based on hidden signals. Ignoring its warnings can lead to detours, dead ends, and even emotional car crashes. So how do you tap into this inner wisdom? Meditation, mindfulness exercises, and spending time in nature can amplify its voice. Remember, logic is your map, but intuition is your compass. Learn to dance between the two, and you'll navigate life's journey with grace, clarity, and a deep sense of knowing. Don't underestimate the power of the whisper within. It's your key to unlocking true, authentic growth. Buckle up, truth seekers, because we're tackling mistake number four, the inflated ego. On your spiritual journey, remember, the climb to the peak isn't about conquering, but about connecting. Arrogance, that puffed-up chest fueled by comparison and superiority, creates a barrier to true growth. In the spiritual realm, humility is the key that unlocks deeper wisdom. It allows you to learn from others, their experiences, and diverse perspectives. Imagine yourself not as a lone hiker, but part of a vast ecosystem, each plant and creature playing a vital role. Open your heart to diverse teachings, listen without judgment, and acknowledge that your path is unique, not superior. Let go of the need to impress, and instead, embrace the power of collaboration and collective learning. 
Let's shine a light on mistake number five, the egoistic indulgence trap. Spiritual awakening isn't about material possessions or fleeting pleasures. The ego, however, loves to masquerade as your friend, whispering sweet nothings about instant gratification and the need for more. Indulging excessively, whether in material goods, unhealthy habits, or even toxic relationships, creates a thick fog around your true self. Remember, attachment breeds suffering. True spiritual growth lies in finding balance, appreciating simple joys, and practicing moderation. It's about detaching from external validation and cultivating inner contentment. So how do you escape the indulgence trap? Cultivate compassion and understanding, both for yourself and others. Recognize that true happiness doesn't come from things, but from the connections you build, the moments you cherish, and the contributions you make to the world. Let go of the need to have it all, and instead embrace the power of simplicity and the profound joy of giving back. You might surprise yourself with how much lighter and more fulfilled you feel when you step off the treadmill of excess and onto the path of mindful appreciation. Time to confront mistake number six, the responsibility dodge. Spiritual awakening isn't about escaping your problems or blaming them on external forces. It's about claiming your power, recognizing the ripple effects of your choices, and stepping into the driver's seat of your life. Remember, true growth happens when you stop pointing fingers and start asking, what's my role in this? Taking ownership empowers you to make wiser decisions, break free from limiting patterns, and create a life aligned with your deepest values. So, how do you become a responsible co-creator of your reality? Reflect on your choices, learn from past mistakes, and actively seek solutions. Take accountability for your words and actions, even when uncomfortable. Remember, authenticity thrives when you embrace responsibility. This doesn't mean living in guilt, but rather owning your power to shape your destiny. Let's talk about mistake number seven, ditching the self-care manual on your spiritual journey. Imagine you're awakening like a marathon, not a sprint. You wouldn't neglect fueling your body and training your muscles, would you? Similarly, neglecting self-care depletes your spiritual energy, leaving you vulnerable to burnout and feeling disconnected. Remember, self-care isn't selfish. It's essential for sustained growth. It encompasses your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. Nourish your body with healthy foods. Move your body mindfully and prioritize restful sleep. Nurture your emotions through journaling, expressing gratitude, and engaging in activities that bring you joy. Sharpen your mind with meditation, reading inspiring materials, and challenging yourself with new experiences. Develop routines that work for you, whether it's a morning meditation or a weekly bath with essential oils. When you prioritize your well-being, you show up with more clarity, compassion, and energy to share with the world. The final pitfall to avoid, mistake number eight, getting entangled in the web of comparison and idolizing spiritual authority figures. Your awakening is a unique personal journey, just like your fingerprint. Chasing someone else's path or seeking validation through external comparisons only creates frustration and diminishes your own inner wisdom. Remember, true gurus empower you to discover your own truth, not blindly follow theirs. Approach teachings with discernment, questioning and integrating what resonates while leaving behind what doesn't. Celebrate your own progress, no matter how small, and trust your inner compass. Ultimately, the greatest teacher resides within you. By silencing the noise of comparison and connecting with your inner wisdom, you unlock the most powerful and authentic spiritual awakening possible. And there you have it, folks. Eight crucial mistakes to avoid on your spiritual awakening journey. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So be patient, be kind to yourself, and trust the process. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and know that you're never alone on this path. If this video resonated with you, hit that like button and share it with anyone who might benefit from this journey of self-discovery. And if you're hungry for more spiritual insights, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
we've got a treasure trove of content waiting to be explored. Until next time, keep seeking, keep growing, and remember, the magic is within you.